É, fui pra lá. <risos> Hey guys, it's CBGP, and today we are here with a somewhat new Sims 3 type series. First, thank you guys for all like, subscribing, views, and comments, all the good stuff. Thank you guys so much for everything, and thank you. So, as you can see, we have returned with my Supernatural series. So first, I would like to say that to anyone who didn't watch the original Supernatural series, I'm gonna give a quick, brief explanation. In the original Supernatural series, I started out with Luna Eclipso, Rex Maximilian, Aster Chrysanthemum, and Victor Von Doom. They were the sims I started out with, and it was based off of an Ultimate game. An Ultimate game is a dating sim. For girls that's literally it a dating sim visual novel game for girls that is the most brief explanation i can give you about it if you're really curious just look it up but seriously this is what i was basing it off of because i do enjoy otome games if you've ever seen the my screensaver in like a lot of my videos that is from an otome game which is hakuoki so yes there's your explanation for that. And the storyline that I was going for was that, oh, she lives, that Luna, because she was the hero in the last season, she was, um, what's it called? She came to live in the share house, and then she met all of the dudes who were all different types of supernaturals. She chose Aster out of all of the other dudes, like, that that's it and um now i'm continuing on with a second season with a new storyline that's going on so yeah um i've done goofed uh, <laughs> um the background audio for this video is probably like non-existent because i forgot to switch my stuff back from streaming so uh yeah enjoy non-existent audio i'm not getting rid of the video uh thank you very much and enjoy <laughs> Enough with the explanations, let's introduce the people. So our new heroine is Iris Heather. Iris Heather, as her description reads, Iris has come to Moonlight Falls to seek out revenge on those who have wronged her. I got a whole typo there, but that's okay. I will not reveal who she's getting revenge on yet, but just know she had a high-ranking family in the um, fairy kingdom, and they've been knocked out of rank. So she came to Moonlight Falls to get revenge on very specific people that have something to do with why her family was knocked out of grace. And I will read over everyone, but I'm going to introduce the new people first. Next, we have Service Rune. Service Rune as his description read, was invited to an old friend's wedding. Servus has made his way to Moonlight Falls. He thought the trip would be quite boring, but after learning some interesting things, he's a bit more excited. The interesting thing he has discovered is that the new roommate who just moved in today, which is Iris, she has, she's here for revenge. And he doesn't know exactly who she's here for revenge with, but he finds the entire thing intriguing and interesting, which is why he's okay with currently being in Moonlight Falls. Also, the friend's wedding he's invited to is Luna. Luna's the next part. Luna's currently getting married to Aster as she chose him the last time, which reads her description as... I wonder if anyone can freaking see this because of the dang thing. I'm just gonna turn it off. <laughs> Sorry. Luna is super excited for her wedding with Aster. She wants to invite all her friends but has a and have a good old time, but Aster keeps telling her that something feels off. He's such a worrier. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. I guess that pulls us into the next side. She's getting married to Aster and she invited Rune, who I mean Service. Oh my gosh. Service, who is her friend from Wizarding School or Magic Academy, whatever you want to call it. They were friends then, and so she invited them then. Invited him from there. All right, next we have Aster Chrysanthemum. His new description reads, as Aster is quite excited for his wedding, but he can't help but feel a bit uneasy about the new members of the household. Yes, he thinks all of them are here to cause trouble. And also, you know, being used to all of the normal dudes who are already here, um, these new added additions are quite troublesome compared to the guys who are already here. Now we go back to the rest of the targets who are from the last season, but are now Iris's targets, who she could get with if they're in interested. Bro's favorite color is red, but he only wears purple. We're not going to get onto that, but Victor Von Doom. Victor has been around for so long that his style has changed many times. His new style is cutesy and timid and hopes he'll stand out more. Yeah. 
yeah <laughs> there's not much else to say about him but he's cute i guess and also he after being rejected i believe if i'm correct he was the second closest to luna during the first season and obviously she chose aster over him so he he's revamped his style a little bit more to look more cutesy instead of how he looked before so now he looks more cutesy and helped to stand out more also his girlfriend like straight up cheated on him so you know that's another reason for his new redesign then we got my absolute main man, the werewolf of the bunch, Rex Maximilian. Rex is both dense and mysterious. He usually likes to be alone, but he's okay with hanging out with very specific people. His very specific people are his friends, which are Victor Von Doom, who is his best friend, um, Aster, who is also a good friend of his, and a few other people that he's, you know, befriended and had been werewolves, be werewolf with. Oh, he's converted three people to werewolves. I guess those are his friends. And he's also decently friends with Luna, but they've had some questionable things because as, as you can see, he did like Luna at some some point and it just didn't work out all right with everything explained and the whole story laid out before everyone we can continue on with this as i said iris just moved here today and currently service is the first one to come talk to her why i don't know he just wanted to he was like oh new person Ooh, interesting and they've already known about her coming in the first place she signed up for the ad in the newspaper they need more money as you can see she brought a decent amount of money with her to join the household because let me just tell you they were poor before even though victor von doom should have money he just doesn't they all have jobs but they just don't have money i really don't understand how this was gone for a whole 13 episodes and they were still poor at the ending of it oh i also forget about Jax. Jax is the cat of Miss Luna. Basically, he's just the central kitty and he's just here. He's her familiar. So, you know, he's just there. Um, another thing I would also want to say, the house is exactly as I left it. It's not the best house. Also, her bedroom is in the attic. <laughs> She has the smallest bedroom in the house. She didn't care. She just asked for a bedroom. Um, and Luna was super excited and de decorated it herself. Which, speaking of, get up and cook breakfast for everybody around. He's just chatting up here stairs with him. He needs the nothing. Huh. He doesn't need anything. Interesting. Huh. All right. Now, I want to check their relationships. I don't think anyone knows. Um, I should, guess I should check household. No one knows Iris just yet. Every, so, service has been here for like a few days compared to Iris. Iris just arrived. Service has been here for about uh, three or four days, so he has talked to some of these people. Not that he knows many of them except um, Luna and Jax. Everyone else he's just slightly met, and he's not very into... Um, Aster for one good reason he uh, he may or may not have liked Luna back in um Magic Academy so we he, him and Aster don't get along very well they don't hate each other but they just don't get along she came here hungry so you know and she, why are you talking about fire girl like why are you talking about fire okay I don't know hey yo service stop that bro Servus. Servus. I'm probably pronouncing his name really weird. I keep saying Servus. It may not be pronounced as Servus. It might be like. Give me a second. Severus. Severus. Bro's name is Severus. And this is exactly what I keep talking about. Don't ask me about names. I can't do it. He tried to flirt with her and then she absolutely did not like that at all. You see this? This is the face of disgust. She absolutely was not enjoying that flirt. Oh my gosh, I took the wrong screenshot. Okay, I think you guys should not be talking to each other right at the moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's not very happy. Let her come inside the house and scope around for a bit, you know? Luna's cooking breakfast because she heard that, um... No, don't argue anymore. She heard that the new the new member of the household was coming in. So, of course, she decided to cook for her. Even though Victor is gone to work. Bye, Victor. Have a nice day at work. He didn't get to meet. He didn't get to meet Iris, which is a tragedy. I want them all to meet today. Which, what is he doing? What are you both doing? Okay. Okay, hold on. 
Who else has to go to work? Is it her? No, he just still hasn't made it. He's gonna work hard because he definitely needs a better thing in career. He's just gonna eat without without everyone, which of course, that's grand, that's fine, that's dandy. He's gonna also eat something that was in the refrigerator, great. Girlie, why don't you come grab a plate? But didn't you already l <sighs> She wants the challenge, she wants to do a spellcasting duel. Service is right there. I don't know if he has a high enough level in magic. I have not checked. Fortune teller. Oh, dang, she has a lot. I do have a mod that makes this better, so I'm just gonna say that makes my magic a little bit better. He just looks depressed. He looks genuinely depressed sitting at this table. Goodness! Go ahead and use the bathroom. Uh, our toilet is broken, of course it is. Um, what can happen? Luna's gonna wait. She wants to speak with Iris. Iris is the only other girl in the entire house. So, she's gonna go friendly and try to brighten her day. She heard her yelling outside at service because service is too flirty. Oh my gosh, I never said what the description is. His, their, um, traits are he's flirty, rebellious, a party animal, a genius, and charismatic. Of course he is. Absolutely, of course he is. And what he can go do is try to get to know Aster, who has not come downstairs. Um, boast about dancing. That's actually crazy. Ask him about his day. Try to be friendly. I guess he is marrying a good friend of yours. Everyone's just mad at the sound of the dishwasher. It's not that loud. You guys are cowards. Oh my gosh. Are you two never going to talk? I guess over the table. Somehow this looks very dark. I don't know if it's because the world I'm in. Hold on. I assume this house is just kind of dark. That's just it. This house is just a little dark. Also, dude, I didn't do much to their faces. Like, a lot of them, I just gave them slight makeovers. But let's be honest. Look how good he looks now with his slight makeover. Like, I could put a picture of him before and then after. And I just think he looks so much better now. I could absolutely just be, you know not knowing what the freak I'm talking about, but like, look at him. I, I think he looks pretty good. But anyway, try to start a conversation. Um, where is, what can you say? Chat. She's going to try and chat with Iris, hopefully becoming friends with the new girl who joined their household. She really was not interested. She wants to become friends with Iris. And Iris, you see the way she's looking at Aster? She does not look happy to see this man. And she's like, why the frick are you sitting next to me? I agree. Why is he sitting next to you? This house is just not very bright. I literally think that's it. Service, who are you talking to? Oh! Oh! I didn't see him over here! Oh my gosh. I literally didn't see this man over here. I was so confused. No! Like, okay, girl, I got anger issues. She is um, brooding, unlucky, natural cook, hot-headed, and evil. So she is very hot-headed. Don't yell at everyone in the house. You don't want to make enemies. Maybe she does. But I don't think she wants to make enemies with everybody in the house. See, they could get along. Iris is going to be very cordial and just ask very normal questions like, oh, what's your name and all the kind of stuff. Maybe gossip a little bit, just, you know, talking. Oh, she's 27. Talk about the rain, I guess. Just some very common things. I don't know why the freak they're playing like this music so freaking loud. She's going to also tell her a fairy tale. Yeah, also this house only has two bathrooms, which is a mistake. Servus and Rex is getting along, which is weird because Rex doesn't get along with anybody. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. There's a new baby in the neighborhood. You learned that quick, didn't you, girly? Here, because it's a cat, let her sniff her hand. Yeah, you try to talk to the cat. Oh, we finished this book. I don't even know what the freak he was reading. You know what? How about you go ahead and also try to talk to her? Everyone's trying to talk. Fairy Frolic. You can go ahead and try and chat. They're literally, these two are actually getting along, which I find hilarious. Who are you guys talking about? Are you sharing secrets on how to get muscular? Why do I find that as the most hilarious gossip I could ever see? 
Oh my gosh, these two are just giggling like schoolgirls. Uh, what's he got? Last night I dreamt that I lived in an upside down house. We're going upstairs, took you to the basement, and going downstairs, took you to the f first floor. That's not a secret. That's just weird, sir. Severus. Severus. I gotta stop calling him Servus. Severus. Severus. His name is freaking Severus. Speaking of Severus, why don't you go talk to your friend? I wish you could get more gossip from, like, this, these sims. That would be absolutely fun. So fun to get. Talk about rebelling. She's really not interested in rebelling, but you are. All right. She's not... Te she's technically getting along with all of them. The only person she hasn't... Okay, she hasn't met Victor either. Um, You can go ask him about his day. The gnomes, they're alive. She did not like that. Oh gosh, everyone thinks everyone's hot. Well, it is an Otomi game. You gotta, we gotta take that into consideration. She thinks everyone's hot, except Serva. <laughs> I mean, Severus, oh my gosh. Give me some time, I will figure out his name. All right, since you think he's attractive, give him a good old chat. Okay, I turned away for five seconds and now he's, he's not happy with Luna right now. And I don't know why. Because of this. Okay, I see how it is. Stop flirting. He's always trying to flirt with people. Bro, stop trying to flirt with her. Dude, I'm gonna start screaming. Oh my gosh, I hate Sims. This is why I shouldn't have these people living in the same house. Go do something else. Get over your crush, you loser. Yo, get out of here. Get out of here. Get away. Get get over your crush. Get over your crush. Everyone's gonna get mad at you for this. Get over. He just walked into the bathroom. Anyway. Since now he figured out that freaking Severus is out here trying to flirt with his dear old lady, I already know what's gonna go down. So, dang, y'all are making things dramatic. I didn't want to be this dramatic. But also, I gotta remember it is based off of a Otome game, shoujo, all that good old generic storytelling. <laughs> Oh, I just thought that was Victor. No, Victor is yet to be home, which is a tragedy. Victor is yet to be home. What the freak is this gnome? Why is it just here? Hold on, I, I know that's just absolutely random, but why is the gnome just here? You're not even a mysterious Mr. Gnome, you're just there. I have no idea why it's just there. Anyway. After him seeing service flirt with Luna, and since, you know, he's a real one, he's going to go and, um, I don't know. I don't want him to, 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 to insult him, but I guess you can scare him off and be like, bro, she's getting married, leave her alone. Also, don't walk in on people in the bathroom, that's freaking weird. I can already see the strife between some people. Thinks everything's awkward. Surface is gonna be the least liked person in this house. I can already tell. Now Rex is gonna back off and go hunting instead. He does not have time to deal with Mr. Sassy, Sassy um, Severus. Look at him, just sassing it up. Get away from the books. Yeah, Surface is not gonna be the most well liked dude in this house. Werewolf transformed to werewolf. Where's Iris? Iris is just sitting down. She's not doing Jack Diddley squat. Girl is just like, I'm not getting involved. She has her own stuff to do anyway. Like, there's some plants she likes to garden. Tend to these plants. Bro, he let his garden go to garbage. Dude. Don't you think you should be better than this? I almost thought Bro Sif was on fire. Bro, I was so confused. I thought he was on fire. Nope, he's transforming into a werewolf. Don't you love it when they turn into werewolves? Werewolves are so not cool in this game. They look so stupid. Oh yeah, I also gave him a freaking eyebrow ring this time around because... Why not? <laughs> anyway, he's gonna go hunting even though he has not talked to anyone very much. We're just gonna go hunt solo. Oh my gosh, he's... See Severus, you're a bit dramatic. That's all I gotta say. Severus is a little bit dramatic. He's not just sassy. He's also dramatic. I'll just leave him there. I ain't nobody got time for that. 
what she can be doing she wants to play with magic sure thing she should be you need to get better at magic anyway summon sim oh my gosh she has that kind of power she wants to become better friends with severus i don't know about that severus is being a little too flirty towards everybody and not everyone's interested in that who is girl who's calling you oh my gosh i read that as scabs i thought they wanted him to get scabs that's gross victor's oh victor are you doing too hot why would she do that Getting weirdo calls on the phone. Also, she wants to be an alchemy artisan, meaning she wants to make potions for good reason, too. Victor has finally come home. He wants to stay past his bedtime. Victor has finally come home, which means it's prime time for him. Oh, wait, she needs to take a shower before she um, meets anyone. She wants to acquire an elixir, an elixir. That's good. That's easy. Victor came home and nothing's going on for once so you know he came home to a calm day i think the victor that i had the fix he looks so much cuter now than he did before because bro he's looking kind of hurt he hasn't really talked to severus very much compel compel to be friend we're not gonna compel him to be your friend no you're gonna go talk to S severus since i now know how to pronounce this man's name Oh, the the I, the dinner is done. So now everyone's gonna eat. Oh wait wait wait! Hold on hold on hold on! You don't need to eat that. Please put it down. You do not need it. Oh, everyone's eating without even the newcomers, man. Crazy. She's been in her sleepwear all day. I've learned. So she's going to go ahead and cast a uh, good luck charm on. Uh, Mr. Ashter. And it worked. Yes. There you go. It worked. That's fortune tell. Let's give him a private palm reading. She needs that for her work anyway. Is he going to say no? Bro, why y'all always like this? You guys never let her read your palm. You guys never let her read your palms. It's like literally not fair. It's so not fair. They never let her read the palms. Oh, I forgot. Brosive is unemployed. Play fa fairy trick. Skivvies. I don't know what that means. Have private wedding. No, we're planning the wedding. That's the whole point. Ugh, where is he? He's watching a mime. Bro, Rex really got nothing else to do with his life. Like, I'm being honest. He's watching this weirdo mime. Rex, get home. Rex, you could be eating dinner right now. Instead, you're watching a mime. Don't be weird. No, no, no. We do not sleep in fairy houses. She didn't eat. I guess she'll be eating with Rex. Rex, get home. Yeah, all y'all need to be going to bed. It's getting late. Oh, yes. Also, go to bed with Luna. Also, serve us. He currently sleeps in um, Aster's old room. Turn that freaking garbage off. He currently sleeps in um, Aster's old room since, you know, we have to have somebody sleep somewhere. We need space, bro. Space. Space is always needed. Iris is a very tolerant person. Sitting next to this man doing this, I'm just saying, could it could not be me. Could not be me in the absolute slightest. I love how he sat down civilly in his chair for five seconds. No sleeping in the goddamn fairy house. If I knew you wanted a fairy house, I would put one in your room. Go ahead and evil slumber in your room, and then we'll see what tomorrow has to wait for everyone. But actually, not today. This video is probably running kind of long anyway, because I just wanted to get to know everyone. Just, you know, get things started. His social is so freaking low. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He needs to brew, doesn't he? Transform back into a human. Why is he always so scared? Actually, no, I understand. That's probably painful. Transforming back and forth. 
But for the time being, thank you guys so much for watching. This was the first episode. I plan to have another episode coming out as soon as possible. But this week's lineup, I already have videos, god dang it. So you're going to have to hear me out. <laughs> I'm probably going to have two episodes of this next week because I'm trying to get it done in October and I want at least 13 episodes. And like I said, I have some really, really nice plans for what's to be. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This was TVGP. I will see you lot next time. And bye-bye.